What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Home Built Workshop. It's your outdoor furniture's finish in good enough shape to get it through another year. If not, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to maintain it as we do it on this bench. Stick around. Well, like many of you, where I live, we are about to head into fall and soon to be winter. In fact, in my neck of the woods, we have already had a little bit of snow for the year. Our first little taste of what's to come. As we come into this time of year, there's a few things that I like to take a look at. One of them being looking at outdoor furniture and addressing any issues with the finish that may have come up over the previous winter and summer seasons. Now, I personally have tried several different brands of outdoor finishes, trying to see if there is one that lasts longer than another one and although there are differences and some may be better than others in the big picture of things I think overall they all need some sort of maintenance in my case I have this outdoor bench that you may remember from a previous video there's several spots where the finish is chipping and peeling. I want to address this and get it fixed up before it really gets down and starts to deteriorate and rot the wood. The last time I put a coat of finish on this was last fall, and you can see the wear and tear that's come up on this over just a year. While today's project is not necessarily an in-depth how-to, it's more of a public service announcement, let's say. I got me a fresh can of finish, I'm gonna grab some sandpaper and get this fixed up. Now most of the work here is going to be done with the random orbit sander. I've got some 120 grit loaded up on it and I'm just going to give everything a light sanding and then we'll repeat it with some 220. Since we're not doing a total restoration, we're just touching up the finish. I don't need to take it down to the bare wood, but I am paying extra attention to the areas that are worn and chipped. It's almost inevitable that there's going to be some hand sanding involved. Now based on my experience in maintaining a finish like this, it seems like as it wears year after year and you sand it down and refinish it, the worn spots still seem to be a little bit visible. The best way that I've seen to make all of these spots blend in is to really do a restoration, sand all of the pieces down to bare wood and recoat evenly from there. Otherwise, it seems as though you can still see the worn spots over the other areas of the wood. Now for me, this is not really a big deal. I don't mind seeing some of the wear and tear, but at some point I'm going to have to take this thing completely down, sand it to bare wood, and refinish from the beginning. Keep in mind that the goal for this quick project is not to do a total restoration at this time. All I'm doing here is just basic maintenance on the finish. And right here, I'm just wiping off all the dust with a rag so that we can apply the new finish. All right, I think we are ready to put on a new coat of clear. So now we can grab our finish of choice and stir well before using. What you use on your piece is up to you, but in my case I'm using some water-based spar urethane. I believe that's what I recoated this bench with a year ago when I touched up the finish. Just going to apply it with a small brush. I wish I had a little bit larger brush, but this one's going to work. Once the finish is dry, there you have it guys. This thing is ready for another year. Now remember, we are not doing a complete refinish. All we're doing here is maintaining the existing finish. At some point, this is gonna get bad enough to where we need to really take this thing apart, sand it down, and put a whole entire new coat of finish on there. Now, I may be at that point next year, but right now, this finish is fine. It's gonna last through the winter. I'm not worried about it at all. So thanks a lot for watching this public service announcement from Home Built Workshop. Don't neglect your outdoor finishes. There are hardly any of them that will not require some sort of maintenance. So as long as you maintain them, you can get a lot more use out of the finish and out of your furniture. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. And address any issues that may have arised. Arised? Dang it, I almost had that perfect. Too many loud cars going by. 
in order to maintain the intre integrity. Dang it. Ah, I can't see nothing. I need my sunglasses. I got my sunglasses.